Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity. Use ICMP to test and correct network connectivity. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time, or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get a notification message whenever we upload a new video. Back to our activity, here we can see our addressing table, addresses, its prefix, default, gateway. We will see the objectives. In this lab, we will use ICMP to test network connectivity and locate network problems. Then we will also correct simple configuration issues and restore connectivity to the network. Use ICMP to locate connectivity issues, then configure network devices to correct connectivity issues. Coming to the background, customers have been complaining that they can't reach some network resources. You have been asked to test connectivity in the network. You use ICMP to find out which resources are unreachable and the locations from which they can be reached. Then you use trace to locate the point at which network connectivity is broken. Finally, you fix the errors that you find to restore connectivity to the network. Coming to the instructions, all hosts should have connectivity to all other hosts and the corporate server. Wait until all link lights are green. Okay, here all lights are green. Select a host and use ICMP ping to determine which hosts are reachable from that host. Then if a host is found to be unreachable, use ICMP trace to locate the general location of the network errors. Then locate the specific errors and correct them. So uh, this is the general instructions they given here and uh, coming to uh, our topology here we can see all the devices. Into devices also we can see our uh, server 1, corporate server. Okay here we will uh, ping from these enter devices uh, to our uh, server corporate server first of all from pc1 uh, it's ipv4 okay so we will uh, ping to uh, this uh, corporate server we will get its uh, ipv4 address it's here coming to pc1 command prompt and here we will ping to our server And we are waiting for the replies. Request timed out. And here we can see we get the replay. Now we will uh, copy this uh, ping command. And we will uh, try from this uh, laptop A. Okay, coming to laptop A, command prompt, ping to our server. Yes, it's working. Now we will try to ping from this uh, PC-2. So here we have IPv6 address. So we will get corporate server IPv6 address. It's here. Okay, now coming to PC-2. Command prompt. Ping to our server. It's working. Okay, again we will uh, copy that command and we will uh, do it in PC-3 command prompt. Yes, it's working. We get the replies. Now we will ping from a PC-4 uh, to our corporate server. PC-4, they use IPv4 address. So we will uh, copy this corporate server IPv4 address. Coming to PC-4, command prompt, ping to our server. 
and we are waiting for the replies request timed out now it's not working received zero lost four and a hundred percentage loss okay now we will uh, try to trace uh, from this pc-4 uh, to this corporate server and uh, uh, we can identify the problem coming to pc-4 again so here we will give trace it okay So even we didn't get a single IP address, even uh, it's not going to its uh, default gateway. Okay, we will press Ctrl C. So we got here a request timed out. That means our message uh, not even uh, goes to its uh, default gateway. That is uh, to this interface, gigabit uh, third zero slash zero slash zero. So first of all, we will verify our uh, PC4 then we will go to ip configuration and we will match with our addressing table pc4 10.10.5.10 .10 it's correct then it's a something to mask okay then it's default gateway 10.10.5.1 10.10.5.11 here we can see this a default gateway is configured incorrectly uh, it should be 5.1 so we will edit that it's a 5.1 Now we will try to uh, ping to corporate server from PC-4. Lose a paro tracer. Okay. Oh, trace complete. Even we can ping and uh, here we can see it's working. We get the replace. Now coming to our server one, we will ping to corporate server, command prompt, now we are waiting for the replies, our request timed out, now it's not communicating, we will verify its IP address. We can verify using IP config slash all and uh, here we can see its address auto configuration IP address oh so given DHCP so we have to assign a static IP address for this server here we can see that we will copy this address and coming to static it's here then it's uh, submit to mask okay then it's a default gateway okay it's ready now we will go to command prompt and we will uh, try to ping again yes here we can see we get the replies Now we will ping from laptop B and it's assigned IPv6 address so we will copy this IPv6 address for this corporate server coming to laptop B command prompt ping to our server request timed out No, it's uh, not communicating. Now we will uh, trace the path from this uh, laptop B to this corporate server. So again, coming back to our uh, command prompt. Instead of this uh, ping, we will give trace. Trace it.
even it's not going to the default gateway request timed out request timed out okay we will press ctrl c so here we can see uh, that trace not even going to its uh, default uh, gateway uh, that is to this interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 so just we will verify uh, this uh, laptop b ip v6 address so coming to ip configuration laptop b here we can see its uh, ip v6 address db8 5 double colon 10 slash 64 fe80 double colon 1 everything correct in this uh, laptop b now we will close this uh, laptop b and we will go to rtr hyphen 3 and we will verify this uh, default gateway ipv6 address here we can see the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 okay we will go to rtr hyphen 3 enable here we can give ipv6 show ipv6 interface brief okay here we can see the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 coming to addressing table rtr hyphen 3 gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 and here we can see its ipv6 address we will match it and when we compare here we can see uh, here as per our addressing table uh, it's a 2001 colon db8 colon 5 double colon 1 but here we can see they configured incorrectly 2001 colon db8 colon 6 double colon 1 it's not 6 it's a 5 double colon 1 now we will uh, reassign this ipv6 address for this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 in this router rtr hyphen 3 so for that we have to go to that interface just i will copy this ipv6 address okay so firstly we have to remove this ipv6 address configure terminal we will go to that interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 okay now we will give a no ipv6 address now we have to give that incorrect ipv6 address they configured here so it's uh, okay 2001 colon db 8 colon 6 double colon 1 is that correct db8 6 double colon 1 yes slash 64 then press enter now we will assign its correct ipv6 address so we will give ipv6 address 2001 colon db8 colon it's 5 double colon 1 slash 64 then press enter okay now we will close this rtr hyphen 3 again coming back to our laptop b command prompt firstly we'll uh, trace So here we can see uh, it goes to its default gateway. Thereafter we get a request timed out. Okay, again a request timed out. We will uh, close this. Here uh, again we will go to RTR-3. And now we are in this interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 
we will shut down this interface okay then again we will bring this interface up by the command no shutdown okay we'll give fast forward now again we will come back to our laptop b command prompt we'll go to that uh, tracer oh here we can see trace complete okay once more we will give that uh, tracer and here we can see trace complete now we will uh, ping to our server from this laptop b use apparo to get our uh, previous command okay now press enter so here we get the replies now we will go to laptop c we will copy that command from here laptop c it's ipv6 okay coming to laptop c command prompt it's working yes we checked the connectivity from all these end devices uh, to our corporate server then we identified some problems uh, and we solved those problems so friends in this uh, video we have seen a small packet tracer activity use icmp to test and correct network connectivity here we can see our completion status of this activity it's 100 percent edge now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions regarding this activity please comment below also if you like our video give a thumb and share with all your friends and also don't forget to visit our website link i given in the description below stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you